The Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save. New every day. By Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. With three hospitals, over 25 locations and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds. Paying cash for gold, silver and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. By Bryant and Stratton College. Come to our community career fair on April 16th at Potawatomi Casino. More than 90 employers expected. Visit bryantstratton.edu for details. And by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Welcome to West Dallas Central High School, home of the Bulldogs and the site of the Greater Metro Conference Indoor Track and Field Championships. Hi, I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. We have track action, girls soccer highlights, and we'll feature the defending state champions in lacrosse. But we'll start tonight's show with a runner who has dedicated countless hours to her sport and volunteer activities as well. Here's Brad Preter. He's got the Boston Store featured student athlete. Successful distance runners put in a lot of miles. That's not a problem for Josie Hartley because running simply makes her happy. It's kind of funny, every time I go for a run, I come back and I just find myself in a better mood. Josie has earned all conference honors each year of high school in both track and cross country. She qualified for the state cross country meet individually as a sophomore and junior, but she's most proud of going to state with her team last fall. It's a lot more motivation when you're out there running, just knowing that you have a team there and you need to run uh, for your team and for everyone there and it's not about you anymore. The Lake Country Lutheran track teams will sometimes practice in the parking lot while the school works to raise money to build their own track. This interval workout involved one minute of hard running followed by two minutes at a slower pace, then repeat over and over again. But Josie enjoys the sport so much that the type or location of the workout probably doesn't matter. Josie has a very big passion for running and she definitely shows it every day. And I think that has definitely shown in her improvements. A lot of times I'll like be thinking about problems um, that are going on or just big decisions I have to make or stress. I'm like stressed out from school. And after I go from a run, I usually am just happier and I have clearer thoughts and it just makes my day better. <laughs> Coach Mark Newman describes Josie as quiet and humble. Hartley thinks of herself as a teammate and not necessarily a leader, but Newman sees it differently. She is our best runner and she's also our hardest worker. She's put in more time, she does, you know, she, she runs further, longer, faster, she pushes herself further. I mean, that kind of example is great because we don't have to teach the young ones that that's the type of work that it takes. She works her hardest um, in everything that she does. Mary Hurt, who's also a standout athlete here, is a good friend of Josie's and a teammate in both track and cross country. She's the heart and soul of our team and it really shows out on the course and we follow everything she does and she's definitely a huge influence on all of us. You could say the same for the work Josie does as a high school student and as a volunteer. She does lots of volunteer work, most notably for an organization her school is heavily involved in racers against childhood cancer. I need to get about 10 to 15 kids for every single race. Um, and sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's tough, but Josie will volunteer way more than she needs to. She's, you know, she shows up sometimes and she hasn't signed up. I love to have a sense of um, being needed and helping others and knowing that I'm there and I can improve someone else's life. Josie has been involved in too many school clubs and volunteer activities to mention. Suffice to say, Lance, she's been keeping busy. Now she's got to take time to hang one more plaque on her wall. It's the featured student athlete plaque courtesy of Boston Store. Josie, for all you do in school, in your community, and for your sport, Boston Store is proud to present you with the Preps Plus Student Athlete of the Week Award. Congratulations. I hope you have a great season.
character and protect your home with new Owens Corning shingles from Menards. True Definition Duration, our premier line shingles, feature an exclusive SureNail technology with standing winds up to 130 miles per hour. And with 21 color options to choose, you're sure to find the right fit for your home. Add beauty and style with Plastival PVC railing. They're easy to assemble and virtually maintenance free. Choose from a straight or stair section, just $39.99 each. Save big money at Menards. Before I went to Bryan and Stratton College, I uh, worked a lot of jobs. It seemed like it was just uh, something missing for me to actually make the pay that I truly deserved. After earning my business degree at Bryan and Stratton College, there are so many doors that are open for me now. I'm currently working for two different places. I am a sales manager at one business and the other I'm a marketing consultant. I could never have gotten to the place I am now and been successful if it was not for Bryan and Stratton College. We're back at West Dallas Central High School on the Milwaukee Journal Sentinels Preps Plus. And Mark, you know and I know that the Greater Metro Conference has a lot of outstanding track and field athletes. Including ones from Brookfield East, the defending state champion. We've got action from the conference indoor meet in the Bryant Stratton College Preps Plus highlights. The Brookfield East boys have won the last three consecutive Division I state championships. Now winning a fourth straight title, of course, won't be easy, but the Spartans do have plenty of talent back. That talent includes UW-Milwaukee recruit Will Sutton, who flies 21 feet 3 inches to win the long jump. Sutton would later win the triple jump as well. He had a big day. Austin Mitzel of Sussex Hamilton was the top seed in the shot put, and he did not disappoint, winning with an effort of 50 feet 2 inches. The host school is well represented in the high jump as West Dallas Central's Brent Hunter clears six feet two inches. He wins the event with Menominee Falls taking the next three places behind him. Brookfield East has a standout pole vaulter in senior Glenn Harold. Here he is clearing 14 feet even. Last year's state runner-up says this meet was a little tougher for him not being able to wear spikes. Still, he won the event at 14-6. Harold has already cleared 15 feet 3 inches this season and hopes to keep going higher. My goal is to qualify for nationals. I need 16.5. Uh, last year I jumped 15.9, which that was big at the time, but I, I want to go bigger. Glenn's teammate Zach Copeland wins the 55 meter high hurdles, lunging at the line to edge out Nick Pridgen from Tosa East by four one hundredths of a second. Copeland also won the 55 low hurdles. He's one of several standouts on a large Brookfield East squad. We lost a lot from last year. We had some really talented kids. Uh, but we've got a lot of kids who are really passionate about track and worked hard in the offseason. We've got some kids who are elite in their events in the state. And uh, they're, they're serious about track and field. And we built a, a nice thing at our school. Now to the 55 meter dash finals. In the center of the screen, you'll see Will Sutton from East winning the race in a photo finish. Sutton crashes hard after the finish. He beat Christian Almonte from Menominee Falls by four one thousandths of a second. The Falls would flex some muscle in this meet, scoring big points in the 1600. Jake McMahon wins it for the Indians with teammate Benjamin Moss a couple seconds back in second. Now to the fast heat of the 400 meter dash. Marquette's Quinn English battles Sussex Hamilton's Drew Patterson. English would run to the victory. He would also narrowly edge out Patterson in the 200. Menominee Falls scores big points in the relays as well. Here in the four by one lap relay, the team of Christian Almonte, Will Vanderhorst, Brandon Cavisto, and Sakan Stevens wins it. Menominee Falls goes on to win the meet with Brookfield East taking second. That snaps Brookfield East's streak of five consecutive conference indoor titles. Catholic Memorial has a rich tradition in soccer. Scott Babbler has the Crusaders season opener in the Menards Game of the Week. After that long, brutal Wisconsin winter, it's time for some spring sports. It's still cold out, but today we open up the girls' soccer season 
and a chance to see defending Division II champion Catholic Memorial hosting Wisconsin Lutheran. On a very breezy day, the Crusader offense seemingly played downwind the entire game, controlling this one from the outset. Just over two minutes in, Joe Raleigh with the centering pass to Christina Fromm. She finds the corner of the net. Catholic Memorial jumps on top. Now up 2-0, the Crusaders add another. It's Raleigh again, this time the perfect lead pass to Emily Cervantes. Keeper Taylor Luck is out of luck. As the kick goes the other way, Memorial up by three. Here's more Crusader offense. Tori Hodorowski rides the wind as this bullet curves left into the net. The two-time defending champs lead 6-0 at halftime. The great start by the Crusaders added to the excitement of getting the season underway. I think everyone's really excited because we've been waiting like all year, you know, to play high school again. It was really fun last year since we won state and we want to do that again. No let up for the champs in the second half. Alyssa Medina with a shot from a tough angle. Molly Schultz is there for the deflection as CMH tallies goal number eight. Finally, it's freshman Lauren Layston on the breakaway and her rocket hits nothing but the back of the net. It's very early, but Catholic Memorial looks to be in mid-season form as they shut out the Vikings 9-0. It's a long way from the state tournament in June and a chance at a three-peat, but the Crusaders like what they see so far. Yeah, I see potential with this team. We're a young team this year, but we still have a lot of talent on the team, and that'll, that'll get us far this year. We have a, like, a really young team this year, and we lost a lot of our seniors last year, but it's fun to like play with new people, and it's looking pretty good so far. We have a motto uh, that corresponds with our letters CMH, Champions Made Here, and we really believe that. And every year we go about making a new group of champions, and they've had a lot of success, and I'm very proud of them. We've got more soccer highlights coming up, plus we feature the Brew Crew in our From Preps to Pros segment. And for all your previews of your favorite spring sports, be sure to go to the Preps Plus website at jsonline.com. Stick around, we'll be right back. Good timing is a tricky business. A bell doesn't ring when the fruit is ripe. At Pick and Safe, time equals freshness. You can taste it in the produce we source, the beef we grind fresh in our stores, and in the products we bake daily. Getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. Who do you trust when selling your gold, silver, and diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds was secret shop by the media and they found out that Robert Hack Diamonds offer the most for their jewelry. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll treat you like family. Shop around before you sell. If we can't compete a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Be your gold, I'll get you some money. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 and Layton in Greenfield and our newest location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. Save $1,000 on your college tuition. Menards will award two $1,000 Preps Plus College scholarships to high school seniors from the 2014 graduating class. To fill out your Preps Plus scholarship application form, please visit jsonline.com scholarship. Hurry, completed applications must be received by Saturday, April 19th. Jeff Bianchi spent a number of years working for a shot to get in the big leagues. 
And now the Brewers infielder hopes he's here to stay. Bianchi joins us as Pick and Save presents from preps to pros. Uh, my faith inspires me. Uh, I'm a man of faith, Christian faith, and uh, I believe everything happens for a reason. Jeff Bianchi was in his eighth professional season when he finally got the call to the major leagues in 2012. During those years in the minors, Bianchi missed a lot of time, including the entire 2010 season due to injuries. I think it really has made me stronger, not just physically but mentally. I think uh, being able to handle those situations and to come back and um, you know taking it for what it is has really kind of made me stronger. And I think. Uh, in doing that, I think it's only made me not only a better player, but just a better person in general. The Yankee appeared in 100 games for the Brewers in 2013, but this season marks the first time he's made the opening day roster. He won a job with an excellent spring to achieve a logical goal. I don't want to set him too high to where I know I can't reach the goal, but I want to set him high enough to where I'm going to have to push and strive to get there. Uh, sometimes I don't reach them, uh, but that just gives me motivation for whether it be the next year to reach that goal that I had the previous year. Bianchi says aside from his faith, his father Tim has always been an inspiration. He says his dad taught him the values of a true professional, like going to work with the right mindset. As long as you leave the day knowing that you did your best, you can live with that. You know, I know there's nights where I, I go home and I think, man, I, w I wish I would have given a little more effort or thought into that. And that's hard to sleep with sometimes, but if I go home knowing I did everything I can, then it's a lot easier to lay my head down at night. A state champion and state player of the year in high school, Jeff has an even more important memory from back then. That's when he met the girl who would become his wife. Let me talk her up. I got the best wife there is and have a uh, most supportive, loving wife, uh, Nicole. Uh, we met in high school and uh, we're on this journey together, I'd say that's my biggest prize. Marquette High School is the defending state champion in lacrosse. No, not the city of lacrosse, but the sport. April Bobman tells us about the team and the sport as we meet the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. new sport here in the Midwest, lacrosse is rapidly growing in popularity. The Marquette University High School lacrosse program is still on the rise, but has quite a reputation in the sport already, with two championships under their belt. But these Hilltoppers are looking for a third this year. Every year we set an expectation that we want to win the state championship. That's a big deal for us, but we don't talk about winning. Um, that's just, uh, that just kind of comes. So we talk every day about uh, focusing on the process and really mastering the fundamentals. And we, we know from experience that if we uh, can focus on the process and we can master the process, the outcome will take care of itself. The wins will happen. This program is only 12 years old, but was the first in the area to provide three true teams, allowing the Hilltoppers to set tradition and continue to build a strong program. All the freshmen are on one team. Uh, and then sophomore, junior year, they get split up, JV, varsity. Um, and then seniors have to be on varsity. But I think the key point for having an only freshman team is that bonding between uh, teammates um, and that translates all the way uh, through sophomore, junior and then up to senior year when you're on varsity and that just makes like, a more connected team. Being a brotherhood we have to be able to trust each other and communicate well. So and obviously those are two of the most important traits for the sport of lacrosse, trust and communication. The Hilltoppers use their Marquette brotherhood to their advantage both on and off the field. And we really encourage them to be there for their teammates and the guy next to them. So, you know, we, we ask them to work hard um, for each other in the classroom, in the hallways, uh, outside of school. Off the field, I'm a couple of these guys are my best friends, the majority of them are my friends. Um, even if they're not my best friend off the field, I think we definitely have a, it definitely says something that we're all together on the field every day, just getting to know each other better. And we may dislike some things about each other, but we def definitely put them aside for the betterment of the team. The lacrosse season is just kicking off for the Hilltoppers, but they're already enjoying their time together and are looking forward to another great year. Favorite part, uh, just the great attitudes, um, just the energy that these guys have every day. You know, we set the tone that these guys can master their attitude, their effort, and their focus. And, and these guys are meeting that expectation and those goals every day. I'm looking forward to 
probably the playoff run. Um, I definitely don't want to go out like we did sophomore year in the quarterfinals because I want to repeat as a state champion my senior year and go out on top. I just love playing with these guys. That's my favorite part about being on this Marquette team. Congratulations Marquette High for being this week's Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week and the best of luck to you this season. There's more to come on Preps Plus. We've got highlights from another early season soccer match coming up next. I was helping to take care of my aunt who had cancer and one day when we were at chemo, we saw a Brighton Stratton commercial. I thought maybe nursing would be a fit for me. Every instructor took a personal interest in my success. Brighton Stratton College did prepare me to take the NCLEX exams and I did pass the NCLEX on my first attempt. I'm now a registered nurse at a major hospital. I feel like that was my calling, and I could not have done it without Brighton Stratton College. For every product, there's a window of opportunity. The right time to catch it, cut it, pick it, and bake it. At Pick and Save, that's why we continuously stock and prepare fresh foods in our stores daily, getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. Who do you trust when buying your jewelry? Brad Yulberg here, and I can tell you at Robert Hack Diamonds, we will treat you fair and like family. We have thousands of diamonds in stock, thousands of pieces of jewelry, and prices from under $50 to over $50,000. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds for a relaxed and enjoyable jewelry buying experience. Shop around before you buy. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 in Layton and Greenfield, and our new location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds. Imagine, you're diagnosed with something serious. How far would you go to find the best treatments? The best doctors? A hundred miles? A thousand? How about right in your neighborhood? With Freighter in the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, renowned physicians and breakthrough treatments are practically outside your door. Three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors all connected to the region's only academic medical center. Now what is possible is closer than ever. Call to find the right doctor for you. Keep your yard looking great with Remington Trimmers from Menards. This 17-inch straight shaft gas trimmer features a 25cc two-cycle engine and a quick start system that makes starting faster and easier. Now just $79.99. Maintain the health of your lawn with this 32-pound bag of Forever Green Crabgrass Preventer. It controls crabgrass and many other types of weeds, covering up to 10,000 square feet. Only $14.99 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. Did you know approximately half of youth pitchers report some level of elbow or shoulder pain at least once during the season? Joining us is Dr. William Roche, orthopedic surgeon, director of sports medicine at the Frederick and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, and team physician for the Milwaukee Brewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. There are a lot of all-stars out there and wannabe all-stars out there among the little leaguers. Tell us what are some of the biggest mistakes you see for kids who are throwing? Probably for the young kids, it's just throwing too much. Uh, shoulder, elbow, we're never designed to throw baseballs the way we do today and you can you can create overuse injuries so just backing off on the number of pitches they throw oftentimes takes care of the problem. Let's talk about treatment. What are some things they can do if they are injured? Well first off you stop the throwing and that doesn't mean stopping uh, baseball altogether but maybe going to first base or just swinging the bat. If that doesn't work then there's physical therapy to strengthen the shoulder and strengthen the elbow. Finally, uh, you can do motion analysis to see what they're doing wrong or surgery if you can't make them better with those things. All right, Dr. Rosh, thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports. As local teams awaited their chance to get outside, teams that play on field turf rather than natural grass had a better chance to play. We have a soccer matchup on the turf in the Preps Plus Spotlight. It's early season soccer from Greendale as the Panthers take on DSHA. 
The Dashers looking to improve on last year's disappointing 500 record. They saw a lot of good signs in this one. 29th minute, Hannah Perlowitz with the long drive. The ball is loose. Annika Martinson, right place, right time with the tap in. Diaz on top, 1 0. Just four minutes later, the Dashers strike again. Greendale keeper Adriana Braytel can't handle this shot. Maria Cass is on the doorstep for the rebound. She makes it 2 0 DSHA. Watch this nice give and go by Delaney Hughes, but her shot is just a bit too high off the crossbar. The Dashers settle for a two goal lead at halftime. Second half, and DS is back on the attack. The corner kick gets by the keeper, and Taylor Massey knocks it in. Dashers up 3 0. Ten minutes later, it's another corner. Olivia Wright keeps it alive, and Captain Sarah Watts gets her first goal of the young season. DSHA now up by four and living up to their preseason number three Journal Sentinel ranking. Just three minutes later, it's Wright once again, this time with a textbook cross to Ali Andreski. Braytel has no chance as the Dasher lead hits five. Braytel was a busy keeper for the Panthers and made some nice saves to keep it respectable. Here she robs Watts of her second goal with this diving stop. But this one was all DS as the Dashers opened the 2014 season in style with a 6-0 victory. Hopefully a sign of more good things to come. I think we had great possession in this game coming out from the back and making sure we kept the ball in the um, attacking half and just keeping the um, tone of the game like fast so that way um, we constantly kept coming at their defense and they didn't know what to expect. I want our players to know what it's like playing against the best players in the state and I think uh, Anytime, especially playing them early on, I think it's it's important for, for us to, to play the best talent, for us to prepare ourselves for a conference play. They have that, uh, I think, that drive, and they know the tradition here at the school, and, and that's always the main goal when we start the season is to push these girls to make them better soccer players and, uh, and to come together as a team and, and win that golden ball. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Unfortunately, the Preps Plus season is winding down. Next week is our final episode of the spring, so be sure to join us for the season finale. Until then, he's Mark Stewart. And that's Lance Allen. We'll see you next week on Preps Plus. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save. New every day. By Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin with three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds, paying cash for gold, silver, and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy Bryant and Stratton College. Come to our community career fair on April 16th at Potawatomi Casino. More than 90 employers expected. Visit bryantstratton.edu for details. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.